Okay guys, I'm going to give you some support and resistance levels for Bitcoin on the smaller time frame and I'm going to give you some macro targets as well as cover some charts that I think indicate it's very possible pretty soon we can have a retrace down to some lower targets. So uh, this was the video I put out yesterday, this is January 7th. I've noticed right here, I said pay attention, this would be your next support, 37,600, your next resistance, 40,500, and then 42,250. So take note here, guys. And I'll put a link up to this video now if you want to check it out. The link will be in the description. So 37,600, notice right here, uh, we did, this is the, the trend line I'm talking about, this FIP channel line right here. If you'll notice, you know, this was resistance, resistance, we came up, we found support, we came below it a bit. Guys, I waited for confirmation, we came back down, we found perfect support, that's when I bought in, we pushed up from there. I'm waiting to see when I want to take my profit. You know, I was telling you, watch, this is your next resistance to watch, 42,161, actually here. I said it was 42,250, keep in mind these are in angles, depending on when you make contact is what price will be. Um, if, if we do come down, this is your current support. And as we pushed above it, we pushed above this, then found support. It was resistance, so resistance flips that support. So your current support that needs to hold is 40,457. 4, Again, if we push up, your next resistance is 42,161. If we push above that, your next resistance to watch is up here around 42,973. If we do break 37,642, your next support will be 33,500. Take note that this was a lot of resistance. Resistance flipped as support. So again, if you do break this support level, this is a very likely point to catch a bounce. I do have more support uh, support levels below, but we'll cross that bridge and we get to it. Um, by the way, uh, you notice this chart is called Coinbase Weekly 3 Hour 2030B. If you do have access to these charts, by the way, guys, all these charts on my website you can access at opticalartcrypto.com. The link will be pinned in the first comment and in the description. All these charts play out live, just click the link. I have uh, Bitcoin, all coins, uh, Bitcoin, all coins, precious metal stocks, and tutorials teaching you how to create these charts. The method I came up with, all these charts play out live, just click the link. Uh, they load up, like I said, they play out live. But again, this chart right here, uh, 1220B, uh, so that would be this chart right here. So that's how you find the charts. I'll just reference the name of the charts in the video. So again, these are your price targets on this chart. Before I get into the macro targets, guys, listen, um, by law, uh, exchanges here in the U.S., if you have, um, if you made so much in gains and have so many transactions, by law, they are required to send this information over to the IRS. That is the regulations here in the U.S. They have to abide by them. And if in 2019, you know, you had to fill out a form. It says at any time during 2019, did you receive, sell, send, or exchange, or otherwise acquire any financial interest in any virtual currency? Guys, if you checked yes, you're abiding by the law. You're good to go. If you check no, and do you have over so many gains? And, you know, they send this over to the IRS. You're going to be contacted by them. They're going to ask why you check no. And you are possibly going to be looking at paying penalties and fines. At the very least, you're going to have to pay, you know, how much you owe in taxes for the gains you made. So my point is, guys, just play it safe. Look, I use um, CryptoTrader.tax. Um, I trust them. I have my Coinbase and um, Coinbase Pro account linked to them. Um, I'm not going to play this video. If you want to watch it, you can. I'll put a link up to it now. Uh, the link will also be in the description. Guys, with, with this app, um, you can add all these exchanges. Uh, and again, all of these exchanges, and then when you link them up to this app, you can import your trades. It will show you how much your losses and gains are on all of the ch exchanges combined. That way, if you are contacted and you do have to pay taxes, at least you will know and you will have actual proof that you can print out when you create your report you know, how much your losses were, how much your gains were. Keep in mind, if you have losses, you can write those off on your gains. So, you know, if you lost $3,000, you made 20000 whatever your taxes would be, you can write $3,000 off of that. So again, at the very least, you know, you're, you're, you can see how much your gains and losses were. And, you know, if things, if you do get contacted by the IRS, at least you will know how much you owe and they do have live support as well. If, if they do have different payment plans. By the way, I have an affiliate link in the description. If you click on that, you'll get a discount when you create an account. If you choose the paid option, um, 
so do check out that I get something as well but the affiliate link will be in the description uh, and pinned as the first comment if you want to check out uh, CryptoTrader.tax it is free to create an account just to try them out but they do have live support and other options so again it's CryptoTrader.tax um, so these are some other targets guys so I covered this chart as well listen if if we break this support let me get rid of these squiggies here if we break this support at 40,457 uh, your next support is, th is 37,642. If this breaks before we come down these lower targets, do pay attention to this support level here. This will be very strong support. I mentioned this in yesterday's video. This was resistance. Resistance flips as support. We came down. I bought here. Uh, again, you know, I, I like to play the balances. Buy at support, sell at resistance. So if we do break that support right here, 37,642, this will be your next support to watch um, right here. Uh, 36,196 and then you have support levels below that you have a support here at uh, 35,652 and then you have support down here at 35,216 you, you can clearly see this right here was resistance resistance we pushed up it was more resistance more resistance since we broke it we pushed up so this will flip as support. So these, there's a lot of support here. So if we do drop this low, I'd watch to catch a bounce. If we do drop below these um, support levels, your next major support to catch a bounce will be down here around potentially 31,500. You can see this right here was resistance, support, resistance, support, support, pushed up as resistance, resistance, then we got a pump. So again, you're working with multiple fib channel lines different directions, but this will be your next major support if we break below these. Uh, this next chart, uh, guys, I covered this in that previous video. We did push above this point. Uh, if you're looking for a macro target, your next upside target, according to this chart, 44,831. So, guys, write down these um, price targets here. If we do push up to this point, we've been respecting this yellow fib circle very well. So, it's very likely if you push up this high, you get rejected. If we do break below 39,414, according to this chart, you do have support levels below uh, 31,747 to potentially 30,500. I will keep you guys updated on Twitter and other videos. Guys, my Twitter is private. You have to be subscribed to the charts to get access to my Twitter. If you are subscribed, make sure you send me an email. I will send you the Discord invite link and allow you to follow me on Twitter. So this gives you some, uh, some more macro, or not really macro targets, but your first major upside target on this chart. Um, this, is a, uh, this is another chart. This is the Binance 2.0 chart. Notice we pushed up to um, this fib channel line here and we got rejected. We could potentially be temporarily topped out to retrace and come back down. If you'll notice, um, and again, I chart all these in different ways, but you can see this line right here. This was a lot of support and resistance. You can see we pushed up. It was support, resistance, 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 support, support. We pushed up to this fib channel line here. Notice right here. Uh, we pushed up as uh, support, resistance, we, we pushed up, found support. So again, what I'm trying to show you is, you know, using different charts and comparing the two, or comparing the different charts together, you can get a good idea where your support resistance levels are. We pushed all the way up from this FIB channel line here to this FIB channel line here. So it's very likely we could be topped out to come down. And you can see we are respecting this ring. Uh, this was resistance. Notice we found resistance right here. Resistance came down perfect support. We got support. So if we do drop, you know, according to this chart, your next support level will be this ring around 37,150. If you drop below that, your next support is going to be around 32,900. And then you will have very strong support down here around 30,728. And again, guys, if this goes ballistic and we just start pumping like crazy, you know, your next FIB channel line above is so around 50,000. So again, reference different charts. Uh, this here, guys, I, I think a lot of uh, people that are bullish on Bitcoin are not showing, you know, the correlation or actually the inverse correlation between the dollar index and Bitcoin. And it, I, this just shows that it is very possible that we could have a correction with Bitcoin very soon. If you notice, this was uh, 2016 through 2018. Take note, this vertical red line is, is uh, the 22nd of January. So you notice the dollar was coming down. This is a falling wedge. At the time, Bitcoin was pushing up. This was our peak in 2017. Notice when the dollar broke to the upside of this falling wedge. 
what happened with Bitcoin? Bitcoin started coming down. So, you know, the same thing seems to be playing out right over here. The, the dollar, <laughs> this is our COVID crash. The dollar is in another falling wedge, moving down. And, and what's Bitcoin doing? The exact opposite. Bitcoin is a hedge against the US dollar. Bitcoin's pushing up while the dollar's coming down. So if this plays out the same, guys, uh, right here is January 25th. This was January 22nd, 2018. This is, this is the 25th of January, 2021. If this plays out the same, if again, falling wedge, break up. Bitcoin's up. When the dollar pushes up, Bitcoin comes down. You can see the dollar's been coming down. Bitcoin's been pushing up. Guys, if this plays out the same, and this breaks to the upside, it is very possible Bitcoin is going to do the exact opposite of the dollar. Dollar up, Bitcoin down. So I just want you to pay attention to that. This is something you need to watch. Now, do keep this in mind. If if for some reason the, um, the dollar breaks to the downside, if we do break to the downside of this falling wedge, you best better believe I'm going to be jumping at Bitcoin 100%. Because pretty much Bitcoin is a hedge against the U.S. dollar. You can clearly see that in this chart. This chart is also available on the website. Um, you know, I cover stocks as well. Uh, and the reason I cover stocks is because, keep in mind, if, you know, the last time we had a stock market crash, everybody jumped into the dollar. If Bitcoin is a hedge against the U.S. dollar, if people are jumping into the dollar, the dollar goes up, Bitcoin's going to go down. So that's why watching markets is important. You know, I have the, I'm just showing you the Dow Jones, I have the S&P and the NASDAQ as well. But I would just like to point out on this chart, you know, and, and I have this rising wedge set a certain way. You can see this here was resistance. We dropped down, this became resistance. We pushed back into the wedge. Resistance, resistance, broke below it. Resistance, broke below its resistance. Support, broke below it again. Resistance. You can see we got caught in this channel. We had a fake out to the upside. Dropped down, another fake out, and then crash. So what I'm trying to show you guys is it looks like the same thing is playing out. Take note of this yellow line right here. This is very strong resistance going way back. So we are in another rising wedge. And I mentioned in that previous video on live stream, you know, we just had a fake out to the upside. And notice this is very similar. This was our resistance when we pushed up. Notice we dropped down. This is our resistance. We pushed above it, found support, dropped below it, found support, resistance. Notice we dropped below it again, support, dropped below it again, pushed back into it, support and resistance. And you can see we just had a little fake out to the upside, guys. So if we cannot make it above this point, and we start coming down, and the markets start dropping, people are going to jump out of uh, U.S. markets, uh, specifically the Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ. They're going to jump out. They're going to jump into the dollar. If they do that, guys, again, falling wedge, bullish pattern, dollar pushes up, Bitcoin will come down. So do follow U.S. markets. Um, this is another chart. Uh, this is, guys, this is the chart I'm using if we drop my buy-in point so this this blue uh this blue line right here this is the um 20 week moving average uh it does look like it's going to continue to push up i have a feeling it's going to be right here where this red this red ring is every time it came up it got rejected uh, let me put this on um i put this on the daily i just want to show you in line drawing or in candles notice um notice right here you know, we, we crossed this blue ring, we broke below this blue, this blue moving average. I need to change this to the, um, to the weekly. And let's change this to the weekly as well. So I can see it the same on different time frames. So what I want to show you guys is when we cross this blue ring, we broke this uh, this blue moving the blue moving average, the 20 week moving average. Every time we break the 20 week, we crash. Drop down support on this um, red ring. And then we found support on this blue ring. We found support again. As soon as we broke the 20 week, we crashed. Notice we pushed up. We found resistance on this red ring. Resistance, 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 resistance. We found resistance. This time it flipped as support. So if you followed me a while back, guys, when we broke below this, this orange ring, I said this is my buy-in. When we dropped, I bought here. We came back down. We almost touched it. I bought again. Ever since this point, we've been pushing up. And now full disclosure, you know, because we bottomed on this blue ring, I thought because we bottomed here, 
since this was the same ring, it made sense that we would get uh, topped out at this point. Now, we did get a rejection. Uh, when we hit this ring, we dropped a total of 20%, which is a pretty good drop, but we did push back above it. So again, for a macro target, guys, if this pushes up and goes ballistic, I would watch 59,500 to potentially get rejected. I know that's way up there, but hey, this is Bitcoin. Anything's possible. But what I'm getting at, guys, this 20-week moving average is going to continue to push up. I do think it's going to catch up with this red ring right here. So again, this is my buy-in point. I think it's very likely at some point soon, some sometime soon, it's going to start coming back down to test this um, this 20-week moving average. And I think that 20-week moving average will be uh, where this um, where this red ring is. So again, if we come down and we hold support. This is where I'm going to buy. So you do not want to miss this point. If we come back down and we hold this 20 week, this is a healthy bull run, healthy bull market. If this holds, you do not want to miss. This will be the lowest point we ever see again. And we will continue to you know, put in our, our peak, wherever that might be, which I think will be around 300,000 in December 2021. I cover that in the peak of the bull run 2.0 chart. But on the flip side, if, if the 20 week happens to be up here, and we come down and we break this 20 week guys <laughs> every single time we broke the 20 week we have crashed so i guess what i'm getting at is if we break this 20 week moving average you know we could have some lower targets and one more thing i want to show you guys i know this is running a little bit long i'm going to put this back on the weekly on line drawing take note guys we bottomed right here on this blue ring and this is this orange uh this, this orange little ribbon right here, this is the uh, 200 weekly. So I'm gonna put this online so it's easier to see. So take note, we bottomed here, you know, back here when we dropped from 6K to 3K. We found perfect support right here on this uh, 200 weekly moving average. When the COVID crash happened, we did bottom here, but we pushed back up as supported by this 200 weekly. So if this 200 weekly moving average continues to push up like this, and let's say it plays out like I said, like if we do end up breaking this 20 week moving average and we come down, more than likely this will be your buy in point right here around 7,500 to potentially hold support. Just like we found support on this blue ring, push back up above the 200 weekly. This would be the point to buy before we come back up, find support, and then continue higher. So again, I'm just showing you possible scenarios that could play out. You know, follow the dollar index, follow the US markets. Um, again, if you want to have access to this ring, you'll need to have access to my charts. But just like you sell every time you hit the ring, you sell every time you hit the ring, you buy every time you hit the ring, it seems very likely when we come down, this will be where the 20 week moving average is. is. And this will be make or break for Bitcoin. I will be buying here to write it up. And again, if we break it, you know, my buying will be down here. I know this is running kind of long, guys. Um, so again, if you do want to access these charts, the website is uh, optoarcrypto.com. Um, I have Bitcoins, altcoins, precious metal stocks, tutorials uh, showing you the method I came up with to create these charts. All these charts play out live, so click the link. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, guys, um, make sure you send me an email and I'll let you uh, follow me on Twitter. But guys, that's it. You can see we are pushing down right now. Again, your current support, 40,457. Your next major support, 37,642. And again, you can see it right here. This could be your support, 40,811. And this chart right here, like I said, check, make sure you look at different charts. We're getting rejected right here at 41,284. And according to this chart, your next support is 37,148. Guys, that's it to the next video. Trade smart, trade safe.